Okay, so this is your fifth panto, is um, it? I'm not even actually sure. I know I did my first one in 2003. Um, I've done three Cinderella's, two Peter Pans, and a Jack and the Beanstalk, and a Robin Hood. So it's my seventh. Okay. Kudos. Right. Okay. Have you got a favourite? It's got to be Cinderella. Peter Pan is my favourite story, favourite fairy tale, because I love the book. Mm. But it's not as much of a panto to me as Cinderella. Cinderella is more... Yeah. The traditional, yeah, yeah, definitely, yeah, and especially, I mean, this particular one with Brian is just in a league with someone. For me, I don't, I don't know, maybe I'm being biased, but it's pretty special. Yeah. Were, yeah. You, were you really pleased when they asked you to come back? I was and do really it? pleased, yeah, and also I've grown up watching Leslie in Birds with a Feather, and I've not met her yet, and I just think she's going to bring a lovely fairy, um, fairy yeah, yeah. godmother yeah. to it that we didn't have before. So that's that's great. Yeah, I think she, she's the sort of person you'd look after you yeah she? and I mean I'm, I'm quite good friends with David and Martin as well and, and Martin I feel like I know her through him because they're really close and, sure. and I just can you know, just imagine that we're all gonna fit together question I asked Kim earlier was I'm really keen to know how you find it, being trained and performing in a big dramatic West End show mm -hmm. where I mean schedules are the same in whatever professional show you're in yeah. but with a West End show you can't take time off it so it was very very strict yeah. how do you find the transition to doing something that is still regimented in a way but a completely different genre how do you find that well actually I, I think it's exciting because Gypsy although there's comedy in it it's very intense it's very um, emotional piece and this for me is like I think of Panto as being like, like a the lead up the lead up to Christmas. Right, it's yeah, like yeah. a giant advent calendar for yeah. Brian Connolly. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is. Like it's um and yeah, it is it is a bit of light release because it's funny, but although we do actually work oh, of course. really yeah, yeah. hard and yeah. two shows every day yeah. as opposed to in musical theatre you do eight shows a week. Yeah. So you only do it twice. Yeah. For two shows, yeah, yeah. two shows a day. So actually, it's equally hard, but you just have such a laugh. Yeah, yeah. We have a laugh on stage and off. We really do. <laughs> Last year was was crazy. So how does it work around? Because you're going into well, you're in Gypsy mm -hmm. at the moment. Yeah. And you're going to take over the role of June. Of June. In yeah. October. Yeah. Um, so how, how does that? How do you fit the panto into that? Do well, we finish Gypsy. So I finish. I take over the last yeah. kind of seven weeks as June. Um, um, and we finish on the 28th of November, which is a Saturday. I've got the Sunday off and I start panting on the Monday. Wow. Yeah, so it's worked in wow, very tightly packed yeah, schedule, yeah. but it's worked out perfectly. Yeah, like, yeah. dates wise, could be better. So, so is Gypsy actually going to finish? It's closing. Yeah, that's the end. Yeah. Yeah. It was always going to be that limited run because that's how long an Elder Store to be available. Say, nobody else would yeah. really take that part. She's so good at it. Yeah. I mean, people could take that part, but I think They'll this production, it. yeah, this production has been so special, and I think they'd rather it was really special for nine months than try and drag it on and make more out of it when actually it'll just be remembered as that nine months of solid. Yeah, yeah. Were you involved with it when it was in Chichester? I wasn't. I was on tour then with Singing in the Rain. Um, so, but I went to see it in Chichester because I love going there in the summer they do the most amazing things um, so I went to see it thought it was wonderful never thought in a million years I'd be in it and then yeah um, I got an audition because they just needed one girl so and it worked out perfectly then it's me so excellent very lucky I've had a brilliant year I really have and this is just going to top it off and Christmas is incredible when you're in Panto and it's my birthday around Christmas time but it's actually the day before we open it's my birthday um, so I'll be does, having does a full day that? of tech. Oh yeah, they all, yeah, yeah. they all. Well, they knew last year. I probably, probably have to remind them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll but, see yeah. a little sketch coming yeah. out involving oh, yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> so you're obviously not from down south. No, I'm from Newcastle. Right. Yeah, but I've lived here for nine years. Well, lived in London, sorry, for nine years. So, um, uh, where did you train? I trained at Art Ed in Chiswick, in London. Yeah, on musical theatre degree course. Right. 
Yeah. And then have you been working since then? Yeah, I've been really fortunate that I've worked pretty solidly in musical theatre, fitting in the old panto as well, which has been brilliant. I've, had, I've been one of the lucky ones. Can I ask her how old you are? I'm 27, so I'll be 28 at in four. We start. Do the, um, do the, um, the leads and the principal actors in the West End shows, do you, you're friendly and you know each oh, other? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. The difference, like sometimes when you're, when you're in a venue where you have digs, you tend to be closer sure. than if you're in London because everyone has lives that they go home to. Yeah. Like, you know, everyone has partners, some people have children, and, you know, yeah, yeah. so you come to work, it's much more of a job yeah, when you're yeah. in the West End. But really, it's, it's, not, dif it's not different no, at all no. in, in what we do, in the amount yeah. of work and everything. Um, but, yeah, you, you go to work and you go home, so you don't socialise half as much. Right. Uh, as like panto or if you're touring you like become a unit because you're all each other's got in that in that place yeah. like you know most of us don't know people in South End so we'll all hang out together or Southampton or Southampton <laughs> <laughs> I know that was funny that was funny but yeah it's like bless him shall I try the um, she riddles? might she might oh, go on. she might know yeah. go for it's it. a quiz to see how well you know Brian oh yeah. <laughs> she's going to be helpful. Okay. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. Okay. What do you call a green fly with no arms and legs? You wear it for a long time. Yeah, because normally in the show, we would wear it at the most. A spot? I don't know. A bogey. A bogey. These, these are all brown. <laughs> these are all brown. <laughs> okay. What's the difference between Brussels sprouts and bogeys? Between 10 and 12 yeah. Yeah. Nothing, because you eat them both, or something like that, what do you think? Kids don't eat Brussels sprouts. Oh, I knew it was something about eating bogeys. <laughs> what do you call a woman athlete who blows off in your beard? Oh, yeah, she should have like 10. Oh. So, every time we go off stage, earrings, earrings, everything. Jessica Guinness or something. That was a good answer. That was a good answer, that's not right. Either. No? Fatima Whitbread. Oh, close. And the two sisters. Sisters knew the answers to all of those. Oh, <laughs> they've known him for a lot longer yeah. than me. I've, yeah. known, I've only known him for a year. It was unfair of us, but we thought we'd give it a go. <laughs> give it a go. One more. What's the difference between a gas bill and an emu? This is my favourite. Yes, I can get you. Ooh. Oh, you can have to tell me, I don't know. They can both stick their bills up their bum. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice, well done. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> and what has he put them in panto for? Them they down. were when he did um, It's a Puppet. Oh, it's a Puppet? Ah, yeah, oh. yeah. oh, brilliant. Yeah.